hope you're all having a lovely day and welcome back to my channel and um, today's video is going to be a candle review from Goose Creek Candle Company now I bought this candle off the gifting corner before anybody asks and they're not selling stuff anymore so mm, I know so sad but um, yeah they're not selling them anymore and I actually got this for a real great price I think it was under £10 and the candle I'm talking about is pumpkin spice muffin it says it's in the essentials range I don't know what that is, but it says it's in the essentials range, I can only guess. But um, and it's here yeah, from Goose Creek Candle. It's a large jar of two wicks, it is 22 ounces, which is 623 grams. So before all this sit was on the jar, this was a lovely terracotta colour. I didn't mind the label, I wasn't over, you know, I didn't love it, love it, but it was okay, it was quite nice. However, what I will say is that it did look lovely when that was lit up. With the, it really did look lovely. So on the cold sniff. I'll get into all the sitting in a minute because you can see all the sitting around the jar. On cold sniff, this actually smelled different to how it when it, how it was when it was burnt. Um, on cold sniff, it was really, really strong. You could really pick up on the cinnamon and undertone of pumpkin, but the spices were kind of like a dusty spice. That's what I was just picking up on. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure I'm going to like this. However, when I burnt the candle, it smelled gorgeous. It smelled of cinnamon and pumpkin and loads of like nutmeggy clove kind of spices. And the only thing I'd say is I did not pick up on bakery really. Also, it says pumpkin spice muffin. I didn't really pick up on any bakery of this one. Maybe I'm crazy. But super duper strong candle. I'd say it was super duper strong all of the way down. Maybe to it got about here. Maybe got a little bit less, but not much really good strong throw filled my whole front front room downstairs absolutely gorgeous um, the burn was pretty good as you can see two wicks and there was no you know tallinin no wax left around the side the burn was perfect other than the sitting I trim the wick every time or even when I open up the lid then Ah, really really nice um, the sitting is always an issue of Goose Creek candles I wish they'd sort it out um, I trim the wick each time and after each burn and it's still sooted it's sooted near enough straight away when I started burning it um, as you can see here but what I do is I just get a wet wipe and like clean around the sides of the jar because I really like the scent of this candle, it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Would I pick this up again? Yes, because it takes me back to, back to Disney World and all my lovely holidays there. I want to go again. I think we're going to go. Not yet. But we are going to go again. But anyway, that's going off on another story. <laughs> but yeah, I did absolutely love the smell of this candle. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And you know what? I was so excited to start burning my autumn and fall scents. Super excited. So the only thing is, if you don't like sitting and you're not prepared to clean the jar, do not get this candle. And also, if anyone else knows where I can get some Goose Creek at good prices in the UK, please let me know because I can't find them anywhere. And I'm super duper sad. So... There's my review of the Goose Creek candle. Would I pick it up again? Definitely. Just had to keep cleaning the jar. So, there you go. There is my review of the Goose Creek candle in pumpkin spice muffin in the large jar. Do hope you have enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you're new and I suck and welcome you into my lovely little internet family. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.